This is Twit. How do I choose a monitor for my Chromebox i3 4 gigabyte? Um, I don't want to get one that I can't drive or don't get the most Chrome out of my box. I've never bought a monitor. I've always bought a laptop, and the monitor is always included. By the way, this was in, on Twitter, a single tweet. Mm -hmm. So congratulations, you were one of the chosen few that can write that much in a single tweet. <laughs> Actually, I little I, jealous. I concatenated two tweets. I've kind of, I kind of put uh, in that uh, one thing. I did. I was, you did. See, but no, it's all there. Oh wait, oh wait, it's wait, all there. Is he two hundred and eighty characters? I, yeah, that's definitely caffeine not free. Dave, you've been holding back on me. Yeah, mm. pretty sweet. So congratulations, there. You win the prize that I you don't have internet. to give you. Um, but what is the answer? Well, here's the thing. Let's take a look at a Chromebox now. You, you probably remember this one. Does oh, this look I familiar? Those. This familiar? I remember those. Was this, this was Google I.O., what, 2011? Yeah. I will go ahead and say that I never, I, I think I plugged it Did in once, it? and I just went ahead and got rid of it. <laughs> Folks, this was actually the Chromebox that was given uh, the same year, at Google I.O., it was the same year as the Nexus 7 tablet yeah, and the Nexus phone like and the Orb. Ago. Yeah. Remember the Orb? Uh, the Nexus Q? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, you have one. I have one in the office, yeah. This is not actually not bad. This is an i5 processor, uh, and the whole idea is it, it runs, you know, the Chrome OS. <laughs> it's obviously uh, I've a, used a, it a lot. machine that you love <laughs> because you hey, decided to keep the plastic on there so that it would never tarnish. That means nothing because I'm Filipino and we keep the plastic on everything. <laughs> uh, I can I can see why. It okay. makes it beautiful. Hold on, but Sylvan, wait, wait, see. It makes for beautiful there's, hardware. There's a trick to this. you gotta oh, you got to get the, the bubbles part. out. <gasps> No! I, uh, I tore oh. oh, just go for oh, it. Gosh. Just go for it. It's the okay, best part. Okay, fine. Oh, see, see doesn't look, that feel good? It's six years old, but now it's new again. Exactly. Except now I can't remove this because the, the plastic has actually fallen apart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. You know, hey, six years ago, there was a lot worse design in the world than what we have right here. This is the nice rounded uh, corners. Yeah, that's you know, this, probably not what's cool about it. A this. lot of the hardware looks like this, though. So, yeah. I mean, you're, you get the basic ports. So, I mean, uh, actually, obviously, not DDI right now. This does have two display port out, uh, you know, Ethernet, USB. It's it's not a bad box. He's probably got something like an, an Asus i3. Uh, here's the thing. When you start looking at the maximum resolution that you can get out of a Chromebox, it, it's, since it's going to be using shared memory, it doesn't have a dedicated graphics part, it really depends on the processor, specifically on the generation of processor. Now, if you've got a third gen box, so i3, a third gen i3, assuming HDMI connectivity, you're limited to 2560 by 1600. That's that's the most that you can push out of that. It just won't support more. However, if it's a fourth to seventh gen Intel chip, any of their, their i series, it will support up to 4K, so 4096 by 2160, uh, which is kind of nice. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Uh, now, if if, however, you are running an i3, and you said you were running an i3 with four gigabytes of memory, you could technically run 4K. It is going to struggle at 4K. Uh, there's nothing that's going to reduce the amount of pixels it has to push at 4K. So what I would probably say is go 2K if you really need high definition, or even better, stick with, with 1080p. In Android, do you really need a whole lot more than that? I mean, it's you know, it's probably the kind of thing that if you can, then you might as well. Um, but no, that's probably going to be sufficient. Now, um, Beatmaster in chat, I'm curious on on this particular box. He says that thing screams media player. When I think of Chrome OS, I don't yeah. necessarily think of media player. Could you use it like that if you were willing to kind of sacrifice the the quality and not have 4K and you know plug this into your TV? Is is it even possible? Do you think? If I were to use this as a media player, I would blow away the Chrome OS. Yeah, and you just throw Linux in there. Yeah, I would I would throw something like because the thing is, there's a developer option that you can you can enable on this, which yeah. then allows you to wipe out the OS. Okay. And I would install something like um, OSMC, the Open Source Media Center. Okay. That works so much better than anything you're going to be able to cludge on top of Chrome, especially this version. Just it wasn't designed for that. I mean, yeah. th they thought this this was going to be their enterprise box. So on every desk and every corporation with you know thousands of users, they were going to replace the desktop with one of these. Mm -hmm. Good idea, but it also means they're kind of limited. Yeah, it was also ahead of its time too. That yeah. idea five years ago, uh, different than the potential of that now. You Precisely. know, where Chrome OS has really taken a lot. But I mean, has done a lot more. Again, think about what they gave away at that that show. There were four things. There was yeah. the, the tablet, the phone. The, uh, this and the orb, and mm -hmm. really, two out of three ain't bad. The tablet mm -hmm. took off, the phone took off, the the Q, not so much. <laughs> no, the Q uh, fell flat on its face. Uh, 
have you been able to make the queue do anything? Well, you can't now. They've deactivated it. So the, it's the literally it's a on, it's yes, and I keep it plugged in for that very reason. <laughs> and anytime I'm syncing or uh, repairing Bluetooth, it always appears in in the uh, nearby devices. Oh, so you can still pair to it. It's just like a this reminder. Is, I'm still here. I'm here. I'm Do here. something with me. Yeah, no, they they killed it a long time ago. Notice me, senpai. Okay, uh, well, here's what you want to do. Actually, Alex, if you go to the uh, the link that's in green there, it's this is a really good resource for maximum resolutions. This is straight from the Intel website. Uh, if you go here, this will tell you exactly what resolution your product is going to support. But but remember, just because your product supports it, doesn't mean the experience is going to be good right. at that resolution. Does it send? Yeah. Are you able to get video uh, out of it? Yes. Yeah, what about of, everything else? Does the so stuff much. slow down. Like like the Office PC that I have here, um, I I found one of Burke's old video cards and I just threw it into a, a PCIe slot. Just so I could run the extra two monitors, but the 4K monitor is running off of the embedded Intel graphics, which is a horrible experience, but it doesn't mean I'm going to give up the monitor.